All right, in this video, we are going to talk about handling forms with Inertia.js and we will create our registration system in our project. So before we do that, I want to do a bit of cleanup. So let's go to our app.css and I have some custom CSS that I just want to paste here and this will be available through a link in GitHub. So I'm just going to paste these here and these are just some custom styles. I can close this one, go to our JS folder, then layouts, then get rid of this demo layout. Then in our main layout, I'm going to get rid of this about page. Also these classes, so we don't need them because I included them in that CSS file. But for our nav links, I have a class nav link, so we can just add it here and we don't have to worry about the rest. Next, let's go and delete this about page and on the home page, I'm going to get rid of this link, add an h1, just say home page. Then we want to go to our routes file, so web.php, get rid of this inertia route about and change this one to a simple inertia shorthand route. So we can just pass the view here and then use the inertia function and get rid of this import. So this should work. And I think everything is done. We should have our home page. There we go. So this is our nav link and navigation and our home page. So let's start by creating a register route so we can show the form. So I'm just going to copy this inertia route, paste it here, change the URI to forward slash register. Then we will have a view component called register. Also, the name of this route should be register. On second thought, I'm going to have an auth folder, then register. So auth forward slash register for the view. So inside our pages folder, let's create another folder, call it auth. And within that, we will have register that view then let's have our template and for now let's just say register then back to our layout file i'm going to copy this div and paste it underneath change the route to register as well as the text i think that's good we can close the home page so let's go back to the website register there we go so let's create the form in our register view component so first I want to have our head tag. Right now it just says my app. I want to say my app then register. So I can get rid of that, self-close the head tag and just use the title attribute. And for now, let's just say register. We can hard code it, that's fine. There we go, my app register. Then after that head tag, we will have an H1 that just says register a new account with the class title. And then we will have a div and a form within that. So we don't want to submit this form traditionally and we will handle it with Vue.js. So we don't need this action attribute. We don't need any attribute on this one. So when we created our app, we said we want to use SQLite and we didn't really touch the user model or migration file. So we already know what we have. Now in our Laravel playlist, we changed the name to username just for practice. But for this one, I'm going to keep it as default. So we would need name, email, and password. And of course, since this is a register form, we need a confirmation password field as well. So I'm going to create a text field here. So first we would have a wrapper with margin bottom six. Within that, we will have a label and we can get rid of these four attributes, but in a real application, you actually want to keep those for accessibility. But I want to keep this project simple and clean. So we will have a name here, let's just say name, and then an input field of type text. So this is what we have. So we just want to repeat this for email and two times for password and confirm password. So let's just change these to email, and I want to keep this as text for now. Then we will have password and confirm password. So you notice at this point, we don't really have anything special. It's just a label and an input field with different types. So this is our form. Let's add a button too. So under the last input field, I will add another div within that. We will have a P tag and I just want to add some classes here. So in this P tag, I just want to say already a user question mark. And then we will have an anchor tag here pointing to our login page, which we don't have, but we can just have the link for it. And I just want to add a class of text link. And under that, we will have a button with the class primary BTN that would say register. So let's see how it looks. This is our form. So we already know how to handle this form with Vue.js. Normally in our script tag, we would just create a variable, let's call it form, and we would set it to either reactive or ref. So I'm going to use an object here. So I choose reactive. So we need to import it from Vue. Then we would create our properties here. So I'm just going to duplicate this. So we need name, email, password, and password underscore 
confirmation. And if you watch the Laravel series, you know that this name is a Laravel convention to automatically confirm these two fields or see if they match. And then we would have a submit function. So let's create submit and we would use an arrow function here. And let's just console.log submit. Okay, so now on our form tag, we can use the submit action and prevent the default. Then we want to submit the form using this function. So we want to call our submit function. Now, if we open the console in our browser and just press register, we see that text submit. So now we want to attach these variables to these input fields using vModel. So let's add vModel to all of these fields. So for name, we want form name, and then I'm gonna copy this, add it for email, that's gonna be email, and password is gonna be password, of course, and the last one is gonna be password confirmation. All right, so now instead of just doing this submit text, let's just console.log the whole form. So I'm gonna add some values here and press register. We get our form values, so name, email, and so on. So that is how we would do it using Vue.js. But now what we want to do here is to create a post route using Laravel and see how we can connect this front end Vue.js to our Laravel route or our back end using inertia.js. So let's do that in the next video.